Well, I thought it would be fun to see just how big of a drone robot I could print on my original Bursa i3 MK2 printer. So, I basically went up to Thingiverse and looked at all the different um, drone files that were up there and none of them were screen accurate, but some of them were very just really good looking even though they weren't correct they just look good so basically I took parts from three different ones of those made some parts of my own and then also modified some of those parts that I grabbed from theirs and made this one here this is a little battery operated one which if you look at my channel I show how I make those they walk but uh, this one I just wanted to see how big I could actually make a robot and so here's some stills. Of, this is one of it sitting on the person, the main body. There's ten parts I had to print. And this main body, you can see, took 68 hours and 8 minutes to print. I printed all of the parts in, um, in the optimal setting, the 1.5 layer height. And I'm only doing a 5% infill. Thing's still so strong at 5% you can stand on it not break it it's amazing let's see if we can get some other images so there's another one while it was still on the build plate give you a little rough idea a little show and tell here then pulled off the plate I've always been amazed how that metal part middle part looks like a bookshelf speaker I've been thinking about maybe just 3d printing some uh, side pieces and legs to put on some bookshelf speakers have some nice little drone robot speakers and there's the uh, the back hatch that goes on the back of the body and let's see that took seven hours and 22 minutes to print and there's a uh, one of the sides, you see that would be that would be a left side and that took 32 hours to print and back view and that's a right side and that took 32 hours to print and there's the top of the body looks like seven hours and 47 minutes and there's those parts assembled again when I was printing I was just running whatever spools of filament I had laying around at the time back view with those parts together and I guess that so you have both legs and both feet printed at the same time and that took 24 hours and 36 minutes and then I made uh, just the tool for the that's the tool arm cover to put on the front and then assembled it and there it be it's very light very easy to pick up very sturdy there it is next to the printer all assembled so you can get a in case you wanted a, a scale an idea of scale because it's kind of hard to t tell scale without somebody this is it out in the robot hut these are full-size reproductions screen accurate and then here's the 3d printed one to give you a rough idea of its size versus those so it's about one-third scale and there's the old man holding it gives you a person a scale and uh, there's the little battery operated one the jumbo one we just printed and then the screen use sized ones for scale so that's pretty much the end of the show and tell thought you might enjoy that I guess all total that would be about um, what 176 hours printing time but turned out really nice I painted the all the different different plastics of different parts. They were all PLA, but they were all different colors. Um, with a hammered silver to give it a textured finish. And the red uh, colors, I, I hammered red. But uh, turned out really nice. Real happy with it.